Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture the output of the MIDI from the arpeggiator, or really this would work with any of the built-in MIDI effects, and capture it to another track so you can actually work with the individual MIDI notes. So it's not obvious how this works, but you can basically re-record it. So I'm gonna go back through kind of the setup, create an arpeggiator so that I've got something playing back, and then we're gonna capture the output of that arpeggiator so you can see all of the individual notes. So let's start with the MIDI clip. I've got the four OSC synth loaded up. I'm not gonna put the arpeggiator in quite yet, but let's use a pattern generator and let's uh, come up with a chord progression. We'll use um, four bar chord progression. I'll just, I'll just pick something here and it's already in there, so let's loop over this and play it back. So I'm gonna click on the clip and we'll play back. All right. That sounds pretty good. In this, we've got just basic poly. Now I'm gonna grab the plugin object, grab from the effects, we've got the arpeggiator, and we've used this before. And I'll just uh, start playing back and I'll start playing around with the arpeggiator. So we can record the MIDI from here onto another track, and it's very simple to do. You just go to the track input on your next track or whatever track you want to record this, and then come down here and set the input as a MIDI track. And the MIDI track we want is track one, because it's the only other track in the project. Rewind, enable record on this track, now I'm gonna turn looping off, otherwise it'll loop back around. So I'll turn the loop off by hitting L, and then I'll start recording. I can either hit R or press the record button down here in the transport. I'll hit R. And there are my MIDI notes. I've got a little warning because there's nothing, no way to play this back, but I'm gonna just drag this to the other track so we can play that back. This won't do anything, I'll just mute it anyway. This should be exactly the same thing. Now that's really cool, and if that's what you came for, you could stop watching here, but this is kind of extra credit. We're gonna use an arpeggiator from Reason and see if this works. So we'll go up here, drag in from Reason Studios. Now Reason in version 11 allows you to use their rack as a plugin, and Reason has very cool players such as the arpeggiator, and some other things. And so we're gonna go up into this, load reason. And here's the reason rack, just use other devices. And under players, there's all these things that work alike, the built-in arpeggiator, but these are just, they just have their own flavor. So we're gonna load the reason dual arpeggiator, which looks like this. And now I'll put the loop back on and play back.
Now on the four ask, it's just a little too sustained, I think, for these really fast ones, but it's amazing. It's working. I'm playing the four ask built-in synth with the Reason Rack dual arpeggiator. Uh, what I'm going to do is just find the release here and just bring that down a little bit so that this doesn't ring out so much. All right, let's try something else. All right, so I'm just playing around here. That's all really kind of fun and cool. What I'm going to do is let this go out a little bit longer, and then we're going to capture this because it just does all kinds of uh, interesting things. So we'll do the same technique. We'll rewind it. We have the thing all, all is already set up, so I'm going to let it run. I'll turn the loop off again so that it plays out past the end of that, and then we'll hit record. All right, so I've captured this segment and I've got all of these notes. I can open this in the note editor if I want. And then I'm going to, I'll just drag this over to this other track so I can test the playback. Hit rewind. So all of our little notes are in there. All of those things can then be used to be edited to take the production on to the next level. So the point of this video is two things. One is that you can actually use Reason Racks in waveform, including the players. And you can also capture the output of any of these things by just re-recording the MIDI out from another track. So I thought that was really cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.